Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me. Yeah. <coughs> Today, I thought we could talk a little bit about why it's okay to take psychiatric medication. Taking medication is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with needing or taking psychiatric medication, despite what some people want to believe. Now there are a lot of anti-psych med people out there, but I can say from some as someone who uses psychiatric medication, it literally saves my life. Without it, I can't function and I am in hospital. So why do people say don't take medication? There are a few reasons why people choose not to take medication and they're totally be acceptable. Medication doesn't suit them. Medication isn't necessary. Mindfulness actually works. There are a lot of circumstances. Honestly, I think that people over underestimate the power of psychiatric medication. You wouldn't tell a cancer patient that they shouldn't do chemo. So why do you tell someone with depression not to take an antidepressant? Or why do you tell someone with psychosis not to take an antipsychotic? Now, one thing's for sure, and that is Taking medication isn't always a choice. Sometimes you can be detained in hospital against your will in multiple countries and they can force you to take medication through injections. One big thing I want us to talk about is sometimes we just need it. We just need the medication and there's nothing wrong with that. We may not want to be on the medication. I know I don't like being on six different psych meds, but I have to be to keep me stable and in the community. We don't want to take meds. It's not something we desire. But if I can take a pill and be able to get through a day, I will take a pill. If you can manage off medication, go you. People, everyone's different. Some people won't take psych meds because they're bad and they're evil. It's just a hard situation really when it comes to medication because you're thinking oh hey, maybe I can come off this. And last month my psychiatrist tried to, to take me off haloperidol by reducing my dose by five milligrams and it sent me into a psychotic episode. So that didn't work out. Now I'm back on 10 milligrams of haloperidol, which I didn't have last night because I threw up my goddamn meds. I also went to the cinema with my grandparents yesterday. His picture. Wait it now. I think taking medication is definitely a personal preference. I do think everyone sh who needs it should consider it as to some degree, even if you're against medication. Because if it helps, surely it's worth it. I know medication comes with side effects and side effects are brutal. Medications have side effects. But you don't experience all the side effects of medication. In fact, it's actually rare to experience side effects of medication. If anyone doesn't know, I take haloperidol, lithium, vortioxetine, trazodone, clonazepam, and they help me function in my daily life. Thank you for watching, and if you're new or have any questions, please comment it down below. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family. We're aiming to reach 7k by the end of the year. I think we can do it if we really put hard and work together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Camera's too far away.